Hi there. There are many reasons for deploying Windows Kiosk mode. There are typically four ways or four methods of deploying this. Today we're going to look at configuring and deploying this on Windows 11. I first want to have a look at the Microsoft website here just to kind of prove to you um, the four different ways that you might deploy. You can deploy using a, a local local account and set this up via the settings application. I'll just show you that here. If you go into settings, uh, family and others option, you will get an option here to set up kiosk. There is a, three other options though. You've got PowerShell, you can run a number of PowerShell scripts to deploy this. Um, you can also use configuration, the Windows configuration designer uh, and create a provisioning package. That's another way of doing this. But the one we're interested in is using Microsoft Intune. And today, particularly, we're going to do that using Windows 11. So first off, let me show you which machine we're going to use. I've got, already got a uh, Windows 11 virtual machine built here. And that's this machine here. This is running on Hyper-V. It's set up, it's got TPM2 uh, with ample storage uh, and secure, secure boot. Now, there is a way of using uh, Autopilot and deploying Kiosk using Autopilot. However, you do need a physical device for this to work um, for, with Windows 11. And that's why I'm going to deploy the Kiosk mode on an already built Windows 11 on Hyper-V. So as I mentioned, there are a number of applications for uh, the Kiosk mode. Namely, you might want to deploy it with a multi-app scenario or in most situations, um, it will probably be a single app. Today, we're going to concentrate on a single app. Now, the first thing you need to do, you're going to need to set up a, um, a group, a device group. And I've got a group here um, called Windows 11 Kiosk Edge Browser. So there's not got any members in it at the moment. Um, and you're also going to need to set up um, a, a configuration profile. So let's have a look at the configuration profiles. Now I do have uh, one already built. It's got here the single app uh, Windows 10, although this will be a Windows 11 kiosk with Edge. But I want to quickly show you uh, the different ways of doing it. If you select uh, your platform, Windows 10 and later, you can either select templates which is where you'll create the uh, configuration uh, profile I've got here, and I'll show you that in a second. Or if you want to add some configuration settings for Kiosk, you can go into the settings catalog. There are some already there. So we'll create one quickly. Call it Kiosk. Um, go into settings. Then if you do a search on Kiosk, it will filter out the, the available settings. So we've got some for browser. And you can see there it's got uh, configure kiosk mode, reset idle time, etc. Um, or if you were deploying a kiosk specific browser, you'll get a number of different settings. As you can see here, enable home, um, navigation buttons, etc. Now the kiosk browser particularly is more of a lockdown scenario. So that's why you're more likely to get these lockdown settings. The alternative is you can have the Edge browser uh, settings and there's a few there. So it's not a full comprehensive way of configuring the um, kiosk mode within, within the catalog at this point. And it's worth mentioning here, I have actually tested these out. I added the uh, restriction by editing the kiosk uh, public browsing experience and when I did that I switched that on I deployed that down to the device um, I actually got an error a 65,000 um, error um, then what I did I went back and switched on um, the experience for the user and if I quickly show you the result of that I'll go into the policy I set up the kiosk settings here 
and you can see that it actually deployed as successfully down to the device. But when I try um, and test that, it doesn't work on the device. Now, what I would say, there's a couple of reasons that might happen. Firstly, the um, catalog settings are still in preview. And secondly, some of the functionality still is not available for Windows 11, and that's probably coming down the line. So even though it's showing uh, it's being successful, it's definitely not working in my uh, virtual machine. The other, th the other reason may be that I am using a virtual machine and not a, um, an actual physical device. So that could be one of the reasons, and I haven't tested that here. So when you are looking to deploy this, um, be aware that you might come across some issues when you do deploy some of these catalog settings. So at this point, we're going to go back into the configuration profile for the kiosk. And like I say, I've got one here, single app kiosk with edge. So let's have a quick look. If I look at the properties, go into edit. We are doing a single app full screen kiosk. Although there are op other options, the multi app kiosk there, for example, you've got different ways of the logon types. We're going to go for auto logon. So when the device reboots, it will auto log on to uh, the application that we deploy. Um, you can, in most situations, if you're in a public area, more likely to create a local user account. That way there's no security backdoor for logging onto the domain in any way or onto Azure AD. And then you've got the Azure AD user or group option there as well. We're going to go with the auto log on um, this version here. And there's application types, as I mentioned, you've got the kiosk brow uh, browser. You can, if, it, if you're going multi-app, you might want to add a couple of store apps in there which you will need to make sure you synced from your um, Windows Store for Business and made them available. You've got the legacy browser, but the legacy browser is really deprecated now, so I wouldn't use that personally. Um, and the, uh, the Microsoft Kiosk browser, and you've got the um, uh, Microsoft Edge browser, which is what we're going to use today. Now I put a, uh, a URL, so this is the URL that will um, automatically kick into the web, web browser when the device starts up. And the other thing I want to do here is um, you've got the Edge Kiosk mode type, okay? And I'm gonna, I've selected in private. If you are uh, particularly in a public area and you've got a browser, you want to make sure that no data is being cached, so in private view, um, will will give you that. The other option you got here is the idle time or refresh idle time. So after five minutes, if the device or the app browser is uh, idle, it will refresh and go back to the starting point. So that's another reason why if someone walked away from a browser, again, you want to make sure that there's no data uh, or in personal information on that device because it's a shared, shared uh, device that you're deploying and effectively that will refresh after five minutes and go back to the start. Now, the last section here is about maintenance. So if you've got any maintenance going on with the device, you don't want to interrupt that session that user might have. So this is all about setting the maintenance start time uh, and the window occurrence. I'm not gonna set that just to demo this today, but that is quite important because it's generally a device which um, is not, you're not sat in front of all the time, so you wanna make sure that there is a way of updating that device. So for this particular implementation, I've got my kiosk profile. What I now need to do is select the group which I want to add into, which I've, I've done here, the Windows 11 kiosk edge browser. And I need to assign my uh, Windows 11 uh, VM machine here to that group and then the profile will deploy to that machine. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So we select our group. We've got Windows 11 Kiosk Edge Browser and then we're going to select the uh, add that device as a member. 
So we need to select our Windows 11 device here. It should be um, that one there, LL2. Let's select that. Refresh the screen to make sure it's been added. Okay, so that's now been added. And in the background, because it's added to this group, it should automatically deploy the profile down to the device. So I'm gonna sync the device and we're gonna see that happening. Okay, let's manage the device. I'm gonna do full sync on that device. Hit that sync and then I'll show that working. Right, so I'm just gonna sync the actual device here as well to help the, uh, the profile to come down. Gonna wait a few minutes um, and then hopefully we should be able to see something happening within the Intune portal. Right, waited a few minutes um, and as I can see um, within Intune, I've looked at the profile. It's actually showing the device now as pending. So I'm gonna go back to the device um, and I'm going to re, uh, reboot this machine. So we're restarting the device here and hopefully what we'll see is it will kick in and uh, start the, the Edge browser and go into the default URL that we've configured. What you might see is uh, some setting up that needs to be done first and you might see a page say we're setting this up, but it should automatically kick in. Now it creates a kiosk local user account which it uses um, to log on, um, but this effectively is running ahead of or in front of the logon screen. So you don't actually get to do the logon, it's running the browser in front of the logon. And there you have it. It's kicked into the, the, the default URL that we configured at uh, www.bt.com. And you've got tabs at the top. So it, this is the initial tab, but notice it's in private. We set it to be in private. We've got the end session uh, button there. And I can go in and uh, create another, uh, another tab, which will default into the, the same URL. So there's a few other things I can mention here. Obviously at the moment on this particular deployment, you've got multiple tabs and it may be that you want to restrict the end user from creating multiple tabs or you might want to restrict the end user from typing in a different URL. If you remember the settings catalog, those are the things that you could restrict. Um, however, on Windows 11 at the moment, it doesn't seem to be working. So hopefully that will come soon. You could also restrict um, the users from downloading and actually seeing the downloads that are available. And particularly if you're in a public area, you don't really want the ability for, uh, for that to happen. And someone might actually download something personal and then it becomes available if they've moved away from the device before the five minute refresh. In terms of a VM deployment for Windows 11 and Kiosk mode here, I should highlight that um, you want to run this within the basic mode. If you switch over to enhanced mode, you lose the ability um, to run the Kiosk. So I've just switched over here and you'll see that it will come up with a, with a logon prompt. So it won't automatically kick into um, or auto log on to kiosk mode, mode here. Now if I hit the, the submit button for example it's going to tell me that to sign in remotely I need to be part of the remote desktop services and that's because effectively what you're doing is the log on needs to be part of that group. So um, when you're testing this within uh, a VM on Hyper-V particularly please go ahead and uh, enable the basic session rather than the uh, the enhanced uh, session. Okay, thanks very much for watching the video. Today we've looked at deploying Windows Kiosk on a Windows 11 device. 
Hopefully that's been useful and you can use that as part of your own deployments. But please come back to me if you've got any questions. Thanks very much for now and we'll see you again soon.